Well, hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today it's all about decluttering. Now it's no secret that I love having lots of things. I love old things. I love just redecorating and cleaning. I just love that. I love dusk collectors. <laughs> but I do really like organizing. And so I just got done working on my whole house, which I have so many videos of cleaning my house. You've seen my kitchen. You see my family room. My home is very, very small. It's a little over 1,000 square feet. Now I do have an out porch. And of course I have a huge garage that I turned into my craft room where I put all of my props and things for my YouTube channel. But today we're sitting at a place I've never done a video filming in the bedroom like this. Because today we are going to do some decluttering. And it's a new year, new start. And what I am finding is when all of your cupboards and your closets get so full, everything then spills out into your room. And when it spills out into your room, well, then that's when it gets overwhelming. And so I was telling myself for the last six weeks, oh, in the evening when I'm done with all of my work, then I'm going to go and I'm going to clean these cupboards, these drawers right here. Now, all of my furniture is antique. So my furniture is very old. This actually was given to us and I'm going to show you here in just a minute. It was a wedding gift from my husband's great grandpa. I think it's great. <laughs> great grandpa. Yes. And so these are cherished items. This here's cherished item that I'm sitting on. This was a rocking chair that our, my parents had, my mom had. And I remember many times as a child with my mom was holding me on this rocking chair. With that being said, my life is full of memories. And that's how I am. I've always been that way, whether I was 20 or now I'm 53. This is how I've always been. But you have to take a rein on it and you have to organize things and you have to take care of your things. What happens is when you have so much stuff, it gets overwhelming and then you don't take care of it. So what we're gonna be cleaning out was actually given to my husband's great grandparents. This is their wedding invitation. And this is the certificate of their marriage. I'm trying to get it that you don't see a glare. And that's, and that's why all of my things are so, so important to me. And I, I am so grateful and thankful for all the subscribers who through the years have given me cherished heirloom items. And I keep them and I cherish them like they're my own family. But today we gotta get working. I am somewhat stalling, I'm not gonna lie to you, because it is a lot of work. And I kept saying I'm gonna wait to the nighttime. Well, the nighttime I'm so tired. This room is gonna get an overhaul. So we're actually going to be doing spring cleaning in this room. Now this room is going to take me a couple hours and I'm going to be stopping between that because I have other work I have to do. But this room will be done today and we're gonna get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually go through the drawers here. Now I have recently did my closet. I have, hubby has a closet on this side of the camera and my closet's on this side. The closets are all done this needs done and then i'm going to go ahead and dust everything really good and just style it like tessie does i have my own unique style which you all know and well let's get started now i am going to speed up this video because it is very boring to sit and watch somebody 10 minutes just cleaning but it's very motivating when you speed up the video and i'll stop here and there and share with you anything that i find that's interesting well I don't feel like doing this. I really don't feel like doing this, but it has to get done. All right, so I'm kind of going to explain to you a little bit how I think my thinking process with cleaning. Before I go ahead and clean off all the surfaces and then do a general really good cleaning of all the globes, the light globes, the walls, and all of that, I'm first going to do these drawers. Now, this is what I'm focusing on this unit right here. It has two small drawers and then has four big drawers. What I'm going to do is go through each drawer. Whatever I want, I'm going to keep, and whatever I don't want, I'm going to throw away. 
I have two designated areas. One is donation and one is throwaway. I wear my clothing out really well, so I generally don't donate a lot of clothing simply because it's not very nice. Yes, I could use it for rags and yes, I could use it for other things, but today it's all about getting rid of the clutter and I don't need more rags and I don't need any of that stuff, so I'm actually gonna throw it away. When I tell you that this is overwhelming, it is because I can't even hardly open the drawers. It's that bad. So I'm embarrassed to tell you that I've owned this 12 years and I've never taken the drawers out of here. This is antique. And I found this in the drawer. Isn't that neat? <laughs> that is so neat. It is a negative of a photo. Okay, we're gonna keep that. I never cleaned out under here. Never. Let's just say there's lots of dust bunnies. At this rate, it's gonna take me a lot longer than I thought. Oh wow, look at this. I don't know, really neat. Okay, back to work. And yes, I found my daddy's wallet. <sighs> so adorable. <laughs> Are you like me? Do you get really sidetracked really easy? <sighs> okay, my daddy's wallet stays in here. We'll put that in the drawer that's empty. Maybe we'll put some of the stockings in here too. So maybe I'll start doing that. Once I have a drawer cleaned, I go to the other drawer. Okay, now back to work. Another random photo that just happens to be in my drawer. This is hubby and I, and this is when I, we were pregnant with our first child. That's my hubby and I. I don't know if there's gonna be a glare, but there you are. <laughs> okay, back to work again. Well, this was my mom's. So my mom wore this every time she was outside and it was raining or storming or really windy. So I'm not getting rid of this either. Why don't we just go ahead and put it with daddy's wallet? Now you can see I'm extremely sentimental. All right, so we got half of them done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start putting a few things away. So my socks are gonna go in here that way it's not so overwhelming. This is the one side of the bedroom. It is totally finished. Yes, I'm out of breath. Ooh, that was a lot of work. That is the one side. That light was so dirty. I have to clean the other light and then everything else is finished. So there you go, everyone. Everything is cleaned up, decluttered, and everything is polished from the ceiling way down to the floor. 
And that is where our bed is. The other side is my husband's office. I really do like those beautiful roses. I think they are so, so pretty. For my birthday, it's a set of Holly Hobby little shadow boxes. I know the lighting isn't the best right here, so hopefully you can see it. It's two of them. And then the third one I have down here. And then here's the little box that Chris gave me from City Girl Homestead, which I'll share her link to.